Assalamu alaikum and good morning, good day to all learners and parents. Um, you have noticed that we've just sent you your logging details, which is your Orient School email account and password for your new learners, your kids. Uh, we're talking about the new learners for 2021, which some of them probably joining us for the first time online, uh, as well as learners from 2020 uh, who had existing accounts and as you would have known the account passwords have already been reset all of these which have been sent to uh, the parents via email and sms my name is yusuf ibrahim it manager of orient islamic school and today i'm going to provide you with some training um, on how to actually use your Orient School account, which was emailed to your parents, to you, um, to connect to our educators for the live lessons, uh, as well as online uh, work. So very quickly, let's get into it. I'm presenting my screen to you. And because you got a Google account, which is an Orient School account, and if you're using a PC, like I'm doing right now, um, I want you to go to your Chrome icon. You must have Google Chrome installed on your PC, uh, Mac or uh, Windows PC. Go into your Chrome account. And what we want to do is we want to take our Orient account and we want to log it into this Chrome. So the way to do that is very simply like this. We go into Chrome and most of you can use Chrome for your Gmail accounts. And the method I'm going to show you now will keep your Orient School account separate from your Gmail account. So very quickly, we go into Chrome. We click on this icon here. Your picture may be looking different uh, in your Chrome, but you click on this next to the three dots, the left-hand side of the three dots. And once you click on it, I want you to go to Add. You go to Add here. And when you go to Add, I want you to just name this called Orient. All right? and this box needs to be ticked, create a desktop shortcut for this user. Click on add here. Once you click on add, click on sign in right there. And you're going to be signing in with the Orient account or email address that we have provided to you. And this applies to all the new learners as well as the old learners from 2020. So I'm just going to use Ziad Parak. Uh, from grade 10.3. My apologies, Yad. I'm just going to use your account and I will reset your password and resend it to you as well. But I'm just using you um, as a test, as a live test in this example. All right. Ziad Parak at orientschool.co.za. Sorry. Ziad Parak dot 5290 in this case. So it's at orientschool.co.za. Your Google account, your Orient account follows the same uh, pattern, which is name, dot surname, dot uh, your number at orientschool.co.za. And next, and you're going to put in your password. And you would have noticed all learners, existing learners. I have reset your password to something much more simple um, to last year. Okay, so it makes it much easier for you. Okay, uh, we go next at this point, and it would ask us a few questions. It would ask us to link our data. We say link data at that point, and we'll say turn on sync. You say yes, I'm in at this point. Once you do that, uh, Ziad Park, you would have noticed your profile account picture is right here. Uh, all right, when you close, now I want you to close um, the Chrome at this point. Okay, and now you would notice on your desktop, there's an icon uh, with your profile picture in a Chrome icon, and it says uh, Parak, and it says Orient. Now remember, this icon is specific to now your Orient account, and everything you do with this icon, all the apps you use will 
be logged in via your audience account. That's basically what we've done now to make it very simple. So if you've got more kids using the same laptop, you'll go back to here and repeat the process and add all of your kids. And each of your kids will have um, an account in the same laptop on the same Chrome. And each one can go into their own account without confusing the others. All right, perfect. Let's go into Parak as we're using a live test. And at this stage, the next thing, what I've just showed you um, is how to add your school account to Chrome. The very next thing I want to show you is Google has a new dashboard and the dashboard includes all the apps that we use here at Audience Islamic School, which is your classroom, your Gmail for email, um, your Google Drive and so on. So I want to show you now that you've enrolled your account um, here, you've enrolled it into your laptop, into your Chrome. I want to show you how to set the dashboard. Uh, that's what we're talking about here. Set it as a favorite so you'll always have it to use and it makes life very, very easy. So the way to do this is you visit workspace.google.com slash dashboard. Okay. And once you do that, you will enter the Google dashboard. All right, and you'll see already because you enrolled your Orient account into Chrome, it's already logged in with your Orient account, and that's exactly what you want. At this point here, once you reach it, you click on um, Favorites, which is the star, and you can just rename it to Orient Dashboard if you want. And it must save in the bookmarks bar and click on Done. Now, to access the bookmarks bar, you'll click on these three dots, and you'll click on Bookmarks, and you'll click on Show Bookmarks Bar. And now you'll notice the dashboard has just been saved uh, just as you've saved it now. Now to confirm, let's close Chrome, open your Orient icon again, and go, here you are, there's your Orient dashboard, saved uh, so that you can use it now and going forward. All right, so basically, we've now learned how to add our Orient account to Chrome. Once we do that, we know that we get a Chrome icon uh, dedicated to our Orient account. We can add more learners in the same way. And once we do that, we learned how to um, save the Orient dashboard as a favorite or as a bookmark so that we always have it going forward. Now, the main, the main um, app that we use from the dashboard uh, is Google Classroom. Let's get into it. And the nice thing about the dashboard, once you click Classroom, it opens it up in a separate tab here, and it still keeps dashboard intact so that you can open other apps like your email, uh, and it'll open in a separate tab and still keep your classroom open as well. Now, once you get into your classroom, you'll notice uh, each square here represents a different classroom for each of your subjects. And you would notice Ziad Parak already started uh, joining all his classes up until I reset his password. Basically, I reset everyone's password and now it's sent out to you. Uh, there's the last two classes that he didn't accept as yet. Uh, so when you get into your classrooms, this is what you'll do for all of your classrooms. You'll click on join because your teachers have already invited you. And by clicking on join, you are now accepting the invite. And once you click on join, uh, this is what your classroom would look like. To get back to that first page, you click on this menu here, main menu, which is called the hot dog menu, and you click on classes. That's how you navigate back um, to all of your classes. Okay, I'm just taking you to some of the classes. Let's go back. Um, have a look at this one. Okay. Those are all your Google Classrooms, all right? Now, when it's time for a live lesson, when you receive your timetable and it's time for a live lesson, this is what you would do. You'll go into that classroom, and in that classroom, this is the header of your classroom, the blue part, the color, and you'll say, it, it would say meet link here. When it's time for your live lesson, as per your timetable, um, that it's going to be emailed to you or it's part of your resource packs. At that specific time on your timetable, 
Uh, if you need to need, meet Musa Singh for a live lesson, which is scheduled, all you'll do, you'll come into this classroom, for example, and you'll click on this meet link here. Once you click on that, right, it's not going to allow me now because Mr. Singh is not in the class. But usually, once you click on uh, this link here, it's going to take you straight through into the live lesson um, where you need to be. So that's as far as I'm going to show you now. More, pro, more training will be provided. But basically, this is how um, you interact with the Google platform. Uh, and that's been on a Windows device or an Apple device, basically a desktop or a laptop. Now, if you want to do the same thing on an Android device or basically a mobile device, Android or um, Apple, your mobile devices, iPads, iPhones, basically your phones and tablets, well, you can do it as well. And basically, let me pull up my phone and show you how that's now going to be done. All right. So basically, if this was your Android phone, what you're now going to do is you're going to go to the settings on the top here. Okay. Um, this is for an Android phone. All right. And you're going to go to the Google accounts right there. And you are going to add another Google account. So right here, you're going to add another Google account. And in this case here, what are you going to be adding? You're going to be adding the Orion School account, which I've just provided you. The very same one which we have just entered, we have just enrolled into Chrome. So this year is if you're using an Android phone, iPhone, or you are using um, a tablet, the procedure is the, the same. Okay, so you'll enter it here. Uh, and once you've finished enrolling, okay, I'm not going to enter it right now because I've already got my Orient account here, it is here. Once you finish doing that, then from the Play Store, we all know the Play Store. From the Play Store, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing um, two very important apps, uh, which you've just seen. And one is Google Classroom. All right. You must install Google Classroom. Um, okay. Let's use this keyboard here. So basically, I want you to install Google Classroom, all right? Uh, right, Classroom, let me just enter it. Google Classroom, I've already got it installed. That's one app that I want you to install. The other app that you need to install is Google Meet. Meet, right, here we go. Sorry about that. Let me just get back there. Just trying to navigate my phone a bit fast. Okay, meet. Let me just put in meet. All right, I've also got that installed. So install it uh, when you get to this point. So two apps, uh, what is it? It's Google Classroom and Google Meet. Now, once you do that, um, I'll just take you to Classroom. Let me just search for it uh, quickly in my phone. Once you install it, you'll go to Classroom. All right. And uh, the trick here is once you enter Classroom, make sure right here that it is set to your Orient account. It must be kept onto your Orient account at all times because many of us, we have our Gmail accounts enrolled in our phones as well. So that's very important. And once we're in, um, we can do the exact same thing. Just like how I showed you uh, here, you'll be able to see all your classrooms in Google Classroom on your mobile device. All right. So for example, if I go into this maths class here, uh, the way I'll start a live lesson now, the difference is here, when we went to start our live lesson, we went to this link. The difference is on the mobile app, 
uh, you won't see that link, but you'll see the meet icon, which is this one right here. And that's where you'll start your live lesson. All right. So if I click that, um, you will notice it would now open into Google Meet. And if your teacher was there, it would have started the live lesson already. With your teacher not there, remember, it will not start the live lesson. So that's how um, you would access uh, Google Classroom on a mobile device. And for your live lesson, remember, although you installed Google Meet, you would not use Meet to join the live lesson directly. You would join the live lesson by going via Google Classroom, by clicking on that link. Let me show it one more time. So you'll enter Google Classroom for your live lesson. And um, in your, that, let me go back to that menu to classes to show you all your classes again. Now here's all your classes. Now if, if for example, if on your timetable it was a maths class that you needed to join the live lesson for on the timetable, we'll go into there. And, um, as I said, the difference between the Chrome version, which is your PC, which had the link right here in the classroom, the difference on your your phone or your mobile device is that this is the same link, this um, picture, this icon right here, and you click on that, and it's going to open your live lesson um, in Google Meet, which you have also just installed uh, on your Android uh, device. All right. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, remember you will get Google Meet uh, and Google Classroom from the uh, uh, from the App Store. All right, Jazakala. I don't want to take the take up the training uh, to make it too long, but I just wanted to introduce you um, to how to enroll your add your Orion School account to your Google Chrome to make it simpler and to save. Uh, the new dashboard and to also show you if you're not going to be using Chrome on a desktop or a laptop, then how to do it on um, a PC, I mean, sorry, <laughs> how to do it on a mobile device, which is your phones and your tablets as well. All right, so that brings me to the end of this training session. Um, I'm going to be sending you guys more training sessions. You also, all learners, are also going to get one of the classrooms called a training classroom. You'll get an invite shortly from me, so please join that as well. And I'm going to be uploading all the training videos into there as well. But for now, this is the video you need uh, for getting started with Google Classroom in 2021 for um, all existing learners as well as all new learners. All right. If you have any questions, you are free to email me. My email address is myibrahim at orionschool.co.za. Any queries, please email me and um, I will get back to you uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so that's my email address right there. It's myibrahim at orionschool.co.za. Jazakallah, thank you for watching. I hope you have a pleasant experience on the Google platform uh, and I hope you attend all of your live lessons. Kindly look out for the timetable. Uh, I'm sure you have it already in your resource packs and please attend all the live lessons as well as uh, the activities that follow. This is your IT manager from Orient Islamic School. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.